Welcome back, Baku Crew. It's Baku Brad96 here with another brand new Bakugan unboxing. In today's video, I will be taking a look at the special attack Manted. Um, this is, of course, the Generation 3 version or reboot of Mantanoid. So, really core, cool, really cool, of course. Um, being a praying mantis type insect Bakugan. The character artwork on the box itself is really cool. I really like the character design a lot. Um, it, it is definitely more humanoid um, as well, which is really cool. Um, it is part of the insect clan, which could have been anyone's guest. I mean, it is an insect Bakugan after all. And then on the side here, we do have the contents. So one top half of the Bakugan, the special attack bottom half. One ring piece, the character card, the gear card, or the special attack card. One gate, and then the rip cord. Um, of course, the rip cord is going to be green in this set. Um, the rip cords um, so far have kind of matched the Bakugan they come with. Um, just a cute little bonus, I suppose. Um, but for the back of the box, of course, we do get a sneak peek at those stats. So, Mantanoid 500, 203, and the special attack piece it comes with 100, 100, and 300. But that's it for the box. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the actual Bakugan and everything included. Right, because that's the fun part. So here is that ripcord. So I do already have a green one from that Ventry starter. Um, I guess the collection already entails a blue one, a red one, and then two green ones. I imagine ripcords are going to add up quickly this year for any Bakugan collectors, both casual and competitive. Just because, well, you need the game pieces or what's included is included, I guess. But opening up the little sheet here, getting everything to come out. Here is that Robux code for anyone interested. Just let me know in the comments down below if you took it. Because um, I just don't want it to be out there forever. But there that is. Going to go ahead and yeet that away. Now taking a look at the gate card or the map card included, it is one of the insect maps and this is A, so this is going to be the uh, top left corner, yep, so it would be right there and then of course the other three would go around it. Um, really cool that there's like a honeycomb, I guess to keep it insect theme, that is really nice. Also pretty interesting that there are only two areas on this gate card. Most of the ones that I have seen previously all have three zones. So that is the first map or a gate card that I have unboxed. That is only two zones, so very interesting. I wonder how many are actually only going to have two going forward. That is pretty neat. Moving on to the special attack card. So star flails, really cool. Like there's some flails there. Um, of course, the stats 100, 100, and 300, just like the back of the box. And now then, special attack Mandid. So, of course, being in the Insect Clan, special attack, of course, the name. Here is a look at that artwork. Really cool. So, definitely more humanoid, you know, as hands rather than just claws. The same kind of feet design, though, that Maginoid had, so that's really cool. Um, but I really do just like the face, right? A lot more menacing. A little less on the bug side, but still really cool. Um, yeah, just really nice character design. But then on the stats, 500 red, 200 green, and then 300 blue. Uh, quite the Bakugan, so not bad at all. I like having the uh, 500 there. That is pretty high from the characters that I have reviewed so far. 500 seems to be the uh, the max, at least on uh, Wave 1 from what I have seen so far. So yeah, there's Nelius, Bruiser, Special Attack Bruiser, and then Special Attack Dragonoid. 
Again, the highest of them only going up to 500. Now I know that you do also have to take into account these special attack pieces if you're using those because then you do add both sides. But for this instance, only taking a look at the character's B power, 500 seems to be the max. <clears throat> Now, moving on to the actual Bakugan, here is the top half, and Manded looks so cool. Um, does have some manual hand pieces, I do believe. Yep, here they go, like so. Kind of those uh, blades of a praying mantis, or the little uh, claws. A lot of face detail that really matches the... Uh, the piercing eyes of the artwork of the character cards, so I do like that attention to detail. Um, the paintwork, very nice. Um, and then the detail of just the overall Bakugan, the way the top portion opens up, I do like. There is the clan symbol right there in gold, that is very nice. The back portion of the Bakugan. And again, with those peg holes, I'm still just completely just confused as to what those are going to be for i know it's going to be something in the future i just i don't know what yet but yeah really cool so i'm going to fold those manual pieces back in and then here is the bottom half included so of course you do have the special attack disc if i can uh well it is a little tight on there oh there we go here is the star flail so obviously you can see the shape of the flail itself that is really cool and then here is the bottom portion the special attack piece um this one does appear to have uh never mind it does not have manual parts so those are all part of the magnetized portion so we'll go ahead and put the little disc back on which generally they just slide right on Unless you're me and you're trying to review it, and then it's not going to want to fit. For whatever reason. Maybe I have it upside down. That's what it was. So I had it upside down, but there it goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then to attach the Bakugan, they usually have a directional arrow where you know how to slide them on. But... Normally easy enough. There we go. Mantid slides on like that. I do apologize for the camera. There we go. Get it to focus a little better. And that is special attack manded. Now to close the Bakugan up, you're going to want to fold those side pieces down. And then just fold the top portion of the body over. And clip it into the bottom half. And there is Mandit all closed up with the special attack piece. Very cool looking. Very nice. Go ahead and get a little pop open action here to demonstrate. There we go. Now it is really hard. I have said it before. Um, getting the, uh, the gate cards to land. So those must be uh, manual. Oh, they are. So these are little manual pieces. They were just uh, really tight, so little manual pegs there, I guess to match uh, Mandid. But yeah, so it's I've said it in my other videos that I've been reviewing, it is really hard for me to get the uh, Bakugan themselves to uh, spin and land on the cards. But I will go ahead and try again, even though I haven't had much luck. Um, I do suggest getting the new arenas. Um, because they have indentions for the cards to fit in, so the surfaces are level and it's much easier for the Bakugan to actually go onto the card rather than have a lip or raised edge, which is extremely hard for that top to get up above. But go ahead and demonstrate at least the spinning action of the Bakugan with the included rip cord. It uh, inserts as so, and then you just simply rip, and it spins very sporadic there's no real control that's why the new arena is perfect for this game unfortunately i am using the armored alliance arena and it's not the best for the demonstration of this so hopefully soon i will have the new one 
and that will be better for reviewing these new Bakugan. But still, really awesome. I definitely like this special attack, Mandid. It reminds me of Mantanoid, and Mantanoid was one of my favorite Generation 2 Bakugan, at least for uh, Battle Planet. But that does it for this video, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because a vast majority of you who watch aren't yet. And uh, it definitely helps support the channel if you do subscribe, keep things going, um, and keep those monthly giveaways going. Speaking of which, this month, all the way until August 10th, I will be giving away a Elemental Serpilius from Geogun Rising. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, go to my community tab, and find that giveaway um, entry, and uh, enter for your chance to win, because it is international and domestic. It's my way to give back to the community that supports me. So until next time, stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan Brawl with Manted.